We're all familiar with the basic controls of an iOS device these days, such as swiping left and right to see all your apps, swiping down from the top brings down the notification center, and bringing down the control center by swiping down from the top right corner. But there's probably a trick or two that you didn't know about. In this video, I'll show you some tips and tricks when using your iPad and iPad Pro. I'll start off showing you some very basic tips and tricks to get you started, and then we'll dive into some more advanced features along the way. It's important to know how to take a screenshot on the iPad. To do so, press down both volume up and lock buttons at the same time for about one second until you hear a click sound. You'll then be able to open up your captured image in the Photos app and edit it however you like. Apps are everywhere, and maybe you want to organize them a bit better. You can press on an app until it starts to wiggle. Then you can place it anywhere. But what if you want to move more than just one app? On the home screen, there's a neat trick. You can select multiple apps on the home screen and quickly tap on them. You can go to another page and resaw all the applications at once. Simply hold down any app you'd like until it wiggles, and then click on each app to bundle it all together. Now you can just release it on the page you'd like. In order to search on a website, you need to tap the share button. Here, you'll find the option to find on the page, and then you can find anything you want on that page. A search bar appears on the bottom, and you can type in anything. Another way is actually in the address bar. Tap on the address bar and type in the word you want to find. Simply scroll down to the On This Page section in the search results menu to see the results you searched for on that particular page. You can also search for things on your iPad. Search helps you find anything you're looking for on your device or online quickly. You can also receive suggestions as you type and have the results updated as you type. To do so, swipe down from the middle of the home screen, tap the search field, then enter what you're looking for. As you type, search updates results in real time. To see more results, tap show more or search directly in an app by tapping search in app. Tap a search result to open it. Control Center allows you to have quick access to basic functions with a simple menu. Head over in your Control Center settings and tap on the plus button. From there, pick which of these options would work best in terms of time saving convenience so they will appear when opening up the Control Center. Tap on various features to delve deeper into them. Hold down onto a specific feature, and you'll be presented with more ways that a particular feature can help you. The dock can be very useful to have shortcuts on your favorite apps right on the home screen. The dock can be accessed by swiping from the bottom of the screen. It's possible to add apps of your choice to the section by simply dragging and dropping them onto the dock. If you want to hide the frequently used apps on the far right, separated with a divider, you can turn off the toggle for showing recommended and recent apps in the dock setting. Widgets are a fun way to have quick accessible information right at your fingertips. To add more widgets, press the small clock widget and it'll open up an options menu. A new window will appear letting you drag and drop whatever features or tools onto it in order for them to be able to use quickly later without having to search through menus. This way, you can customize your iPad to enhance its functionality in the way that is most comfortable to you. Alternatively, you can switch the toggle on the clock so that the widgets panel stays permanently visible. The iPad has multitasking features that allow you to bring up several apps and windows side by side. However, this is changing in the future update with iPadOS 15, but I'll show you how it works currently. To split the screen off your iPad to see two apps at the one time, bring up the dock and hold on an app you wish to view. Drag it over to the left or right side of your device's home screen until a bar appears across the top section. This is called splitting. As soon as it's in place, it allows you to multitask with ease. If you want to see one app, then drag it to the top of the screen, which will expand it to cover the entire screen. The iPad makes multitasking a breeze. You can do it by opening any app and dragging left or right to adjust it. For example, you can open an app in Safari tab on the left and then open up another app on the right. It's also possible to open a third app or a document. If you prefer, you could just hover over it over the middle, and then it would open up a tab above those two previously opened apps. Having all three open at the same time allows you to flip from one to the other and have instant access to all open apps. Now, many of you probably didn't know that you can actually change the size of your iPad's keyboard. Using one finger to type is possible now that you can change its size. By simply just pinching inwards, the keyboard shrinks to a smaller size, then you can move it around. To revert back to the larger size, just pinch outwards. 
With the Apple Pencil, you can write on any text field from the search bar, Safari browser, to the mail message field on your iPad. Your handwriting converts automatically into text. If you already have some handwritten notes, you can select the notes and convert them to text. Double tap or touch and hold a word you want to select. Select more words by sweeping your fingers over them. You can triple tap to select an entire line of words. Tap the selected words. In the menu that appears, tap copy as text. Paste the text elsewhere in the same document or another app and it appears as regular text. If you go to settings, Apple Pencil, try Scribble, you can learn how to delete, select, insert, and join words together with your Apple Pencil. You can actually do quite a lot on the Photos app, including dragging items from albums to albums, or from folder to folder depending on the file. This folder has a bunch of pictures I want to move to a different album. It's actually quite easy, and you just tap and drag to the other album. You can see the albums on the lower left side, as well as previews for the pictures that contain them. You can also change the album cover by tapping on any of the pictures on the album and then selecting Make Key Photo and it will display as the main picture on that album. If your iPad has a LiDAR scanner in the back, you can add special effects to your room that react to you. This particular feature is a lot of fun and gives clips a bit more functionality. Opening the Clips app and clicking on the star icon brings up effects. You'll see an option for AR spaces. Tapping on Start Scan will prompt you to start scanning the room. You could add effects to make it look absolutely amazing, like this emoji effect. The options are endless, like this sci-fi looking prism or confetti effect. The LiDAR scans the room so well and gives you the most realistic effect, so you can make so many cool videos using all of these amazing features. Game controller support is actually really awesome so you can hook up an Xbox controller or even a PlayStation 5 controller to your iPad and play a bunch of games. Just put the controller into Bluetooth pairing mode. Under the iPad's Pro Control Center, you'll find Bluetooth settings. You'll simply need to tap the controller and it'll connect to the iPad automatically. Using a controller, you can play a lot of fun games, and thanks to the graphics and performance of the iPad Pro, it's incredibly addictive. I really like the fact that your iPad recognizes the device as a game controller. If you just head into Settings, General, Game Controller, you can adjust a lot of different settings and even customize the buttons and controls. Once that's done, you can even get to the home screen and if you have a battery widget, it'll display the battery percentage. There are a lot of neat features on this iPad that make it really great to use. One such feature is being able to charge other USB-C devices with ease, like iPhones and AirPods which will come in handy when you're always traveling and running into those pesky dead battery moments. Simply plug in your USB-C cable and plug in any other device you want to charge. The iPad is definitely packed with a lot of features. In case you missed it, you can watch my one month review of the 2021 M1 iPad Pro where I go through its performance and if it can be a laptop replacement. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all our latest videos. Are you using an iPad? If so, what do you like about it? Hopefully these tips have helped you out. Let me know in the comments section down below and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.